Hey everybody, it's your guy Eagles here. I'm back with another video. Today we're doing the reading on Dave E. Somebody um, requested this in the last video and I actually didn't mind doing this reading because this one is a lot more um, lighthearted and not as heavy as some of the other video requests that people have been asking for. Um, one thing that you guys um, have to understand is that I have a business that I run. Um, so readings aren't something that I do full time or do to like make money from. Um, and also that certain readings pull a lot of energy, you know, from me. So um, readings can just they can be depending on the situation of the person. It can be just kind of like um, exercising sometimes you exercise and it gives you a boost of energy for the rest of the day and then sometimes you exercise and it makes you very tired and you just want to relax and sit around so it's the same way with spiritual readings they vary they're not all the same um sometimes but a lot of the ones that i've been doing lately are very very taxing and i um i've been getting a lot of emails lately about doing readings I'm not doing any new readings until March. Um, you can email to set up a time in March if you want a personal reading, but um, I'm not doing any more for the month of February. Um, I put my cash app on the screen. Um, I definitely will appreciate some donations for any of the requests that you guys have on readings. Um, so yeah, there's that. And two, let's go ahead and get into this Dave East reading. So um, there's a couple of things that I see with Dave East. Um, one of them is that he's really conflicted about his identity. Um, part of it is him kind of being very creative and forward thinking. He's very similar to kind of like Kanye West when he thinks about the stuff that he wants to do musically, the stuff that he wants to do um, with his videos and just kind of with his overall image. But what holds him back is feeling as if he has to uphold this tough guy reputation that he has um, put out there for himself. But he's really um, wanting to do some stuff in fashion um, I can't really tell right now if it's wanting to just collaborate with the brand or if it's wanting to actually start his own line. Um, but he definitely wants to do more with fashion, modeling, and then also with acting. Um, acting is something I, it feels like he has an acting coach now to kind of help him to um, brush up on his skills. But I'm getting that he recognizes that music is something that he is doing as more of a passion project versus um, to build wealth or to um, gain popularity. I think he realizes at this point, like his music is not necessarily taking off. And unless he decides to venture off and collaborate with someone who would kind of allow him the freedom and give him more confidence to be more creative with his music and his sound, he recognizes that the music he puts out now was not going to kind of skyrocket or plateau him to the level of success that he will want to achieve. Um, and let me also just preface this reading by saying this is for entertainment purposes. So you can take it or leave it. Um, there's that. So another thing that really, really keeps popping up for Dave is that he's like a hopeless romantic. And he has a very high ideal vision of the type of relationship that he wants. He has a very strong karmic connection with his child's mother. Um, and I can definitely see a strong possibility of him proposing to her and wanting to marry her. Um, fidelity is something that he holds in a high regard. Um, he's actually not as... Um, what do you call it? He's not as whorish or um, as much of a playboy as he portrays. That does not mean that he is 100% faithful, but the way he was raised and kind of his ideals is to be more, um, is to be more monogamous. Okay. Um, he, he's someone who has a very good heart. He would definitely give the shirt off his back um, to somebody who was in need, but he also has a very, very strong temper. 
um, where it's like sometimes he can be extremely moody and you don't know like what to say or how to respond to him when he's in those moments. Um, and it feels like, you know, you would have to walk on eggshells in order to be around him. Um, I can see him have dealing with a lot of heavy emotions and just a lot of confusion about people that he's lost. Um, and that makes him hard and that makes it hard for him to truly celebrate and enjoy everything that he's had. He's, he's accomplishing now because of the people that he's lost. That's been close to him. Um, he has a, tr he has trouble with trusting people, but it's very conflicting because he wants to have good people around him. And sometimes he longs to just kind of have companionship that he is more likely to accept certain people being in his life that don't really mean him any good, but he's unwilling to let go and, kind of take the time that he needs to heal his own wounds um, so that he can attract healthy friendships, relationships, and partnerships. There's a certain level of codependency that he has um, in his friendships and relationships. And it's weird because he also becomes very standoffish when he feels like somebody is getting very close to him. So um, someone who wants to be his friend or wants to be in a relationship is going to have to understand that Dave is very moody and he's very fickle. He has a big heart and he's very loyal. But at the same time, if he feels slighted, you'll see another side of him. Um, it's not really clear whether or not he would be violent with women, but it's not something that would be like unheard of either. You know, the energy of how he can kind of just flip on a dime is pretty apparent and pretty clear. Um, but I'm saying that he, for the most part, is more of a um, verbal sparrer than he is physical. Um, he definitely will fight, but he's more someone who likes to verbally attack. Um, and he can be very vicious with the tongue. He knows that he can really cut people low and it's kind of a defense mechanism that he has to kind of be like, hey, I have a one up on you. But the thing is that Dave is also a very, very sensitive man. Um, he is not as tough and as he doesn't have that level of machismo that he presents to the world. I'm not saying that he's a weak guy at all. I'm just saying that he is definitely a lot more um kind of intuitive and in tune with his own feelings and he's just he's a more of a lover than not a fighter but he's more of a fighter based off of his environment if you guys are understanding like he, he doesn't want to fight um but he has to do that because again it ties back to kind of this image thing um there's also some stuff popping up about his um about his identity concerning his ethnicity um, I don't know why, but it seems like he's not really comfortable in just who he really is. I don't know what the history is behind that. Um, and then the last thing that I'm not going into depth about is that the, there's like some sexual quirks that he has, um, that most people will find a little weird or unconventional. Um, but yeah, that's that on that. Um, overall, um, I would say right now, Dave is just going through a period of unique transformation. Um, he's trying to find his voice, his identity, um, who he is and who he wants to evolve and become. Um, and he doesn't really know if he is ready to venture out and do that. Um, he's being presented with a lot of offers to elevate outside of music especially again, going back to fashion, um, going back to acting and also with modeling, but he's unwilling to let go of that hardcore image that he wants to project. Um, he would be a lot more financially successful if he would let go of that, um, need to kind of project a certain image. Um, however, you know, that's something that he just is not going to be readily willing to do based off the friends that he has now. Um, if he is able to be a lot more comfortable with the, within himself, pardon me, then you will see, um, 
that he'll start to make a shift in a transformation towards more of a family guy with edge, you know? Um, so he'll contemplate marriage, expand his family. He definitely wants a boy. Um, and just kind of creating a brand like he wants to be similar to Ice Cube, how Ice Cube no longer has to rap. He can rap if he wants to, but he has his hands in so many different other projects. But right now, the biggest thing is Dave East has to build up his capital in order to um, allow that to happen and to manifest. So this is all I got on your guy, Dave East. As always, nos vemos, think we that day, y tengo buen día. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you guys are enjoying the content. Um, if you enjoyed it as well, leave me a comment. You know, if you got a favorite Dave East song, if you feel like this reading resonated, holla at me, let me know. All right, y'all, I'm out.